Reduce your household food waste with Organic Garden. Hi, I'm Michael, the founder and manager of Organic Garden. We are a nonprofit for small scale food waste composting. In today's video, we'll talk about what to do in the weeks following your compost work. After we set a bucket away for anaerobic composting, which is another word for fermentation, you may wonder what to do to check if the composting is going all right. There are a few signs we can begin to look for in the weeks following our compost work. The first thing to look for is whether or not the bucket produces what is called the Bokashi juice. As a byproduct of anaerobic fermentation, the Bokashi juice is a nutrition-rich fertilizer for your vegetation. We need to regularly remove this liquid from the bucket so that the fermentation process will proceed at a normal pace. So how do we do it? The bucket has a spigot feature on the bottom. By turning it to the side that says open, we can slowly remove the liquid from the bucket. As you can see, the liquid we collect this time happened to be of a brownish color. In reality, the color and the amount of liquid may differ based on the type of food waste we compost. Moreover, the smell of the liquid should be rather pleasant, like that of vinegar, instead of something unbearable and foul. In the later part of the video, we'll talk about what to do with this liquid fertilizer. Now, the second sign you can also look for is the presence of white mold on the top of the food waste in the bucket. Although we should not remove the lid frequently to check, it is quite helpful for first-time beginners. Here, we can see a layer of white mold about a month in. If the mold turns out to be different colors such as yellow or green, the composting likely failed. So let's talk about what to do when a bucket seems to fail. First, we need to remove all the liquid or Bokashi juice from the bucket using the spigot. Then we will open the bucket, check for the white mold, and add more Bokashi green if necessary. For beginners, they should be very generous with their Bokashi grain, especially in their first few attempts. Remember, not all Bokashi grain will activate immediately, so feel free to wait for a week or two before taking further actions. Now, if after doing all this, the bucket still shows no sign of progress whatsoever, I recommend emptying the bucket, throwing away all the scraps, and checking for any cladding in the spigot. After all, it is okay to restart the entire process. If your trial was successful, we can use the liquid fertilizer for the soil or any vegetation we are growing. Here, I have a water can with me to contain the Bokashi juice. First, we'll need to dilute it or else the high concentration of Bokashi juice may end up killing the vegetation. The proportion will be one part Bokashi juice and about 20 parts water. Now, I happen to have a few pots of plants in my garden, and let's go around watering them. Here's everything for today's video about how to ensure the success of your compost pile and what to do with the Bokashi juice as a liquid fertilizer. Reduce the household food waste with Organic Garden. I'm Michael. Thank you for watching.